leadership. I mean, it's it's a it's a big it's a big hot potato um, in in Australasia as far as um, diversity in boards and in companies. And would there be many women that um, had a role had roles like yourself in, in hotel chains in China? No, very few. So, are you the only one? You uh, I mean, uh, I know there are two other foreign uh, general managers in China. But interestingly, in China, within China, and within the Chinese government. Chinese people are very open to having women in senior roles. So actually in China that is quite common, but in the hotel industry for general managers, no, very, very Okay, now there's something I need to ask you. Um, the one child um, policy yes. that they have, is, is that still it's, it's still very much because a lot of the I mean I've been in China now for five days um, and there's been there's been a lot of contradictory talk around that some people say that there are ways around that um, if you have the means you're able to have two children is that is that the case or I don't know about that but certainly if you if both parents come from were single children come from one child families they are able to have uh, two children and in some provinces they're allowed to have more than one child. So they might relocate to Guangzhou so, and have already two children because they were based, they were located or came from another province. So one child means that we're probably boy heavy. Slightly. That's we, what the statistics say that there are slightly more boys than girls in China. So yes. with so many, um, I suppose, so many going or being um, educated in uh, universities outside of China. Um, therefore, I mean, and there would be a lot of women that would come back in to China to take up leadership roles. Do you see that? Yes, I do. I see quite an equal uh, in terms of gender between men and women. So when I look at the Chinese people in the senior roles in the hotel, uh, it's probably 50-50. Mm. So let's talk about your role um, in this hotel. So how, how big is the hotel? So the hotel has 444 rooms. Uh, it has uh, three restaurants, uh, large banquet facilities, a large ballroom, meeting rooms, a bar, very nice gym area. Mm. Um, and how many employees? And 500 uh, employees. We call our employees associates. Associates? So 500 associates. Well, yes. I like to call them teams, so I'm glad that we're not calling them staff. Yes. Now, yes. all of those employees are actually accommodated as well, aren't they? It's yes, part they of their are. role. They are. And do they work a, a is it a six day week? They, no, they work a five day week. They work a so five day week. Very much like New Zealand, they yeah. work a five day week, 40 hours a week. Uh, the difference with New Zealand is they have very little annual leave. Uh, their annual leave, when they first enter the hotel industry, they only have seven days a year, and right. from there on it, it progresses up to about 